here i am so 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 excited because the halloween event in crown academy is finally here so when you first join you'll be in the carnival dark carnival all you have to do is you're going to fly and you're gonna go to this mansion which was locked up before but you'll now see that there is the witching hour portal so we're gonna take it and we're gonna go to the witching hour world and explore it and obtain all of the halos that you can unlock in this world so when you first join you'll be greeted with this message you can take the tour to familiarize yourself with the world or you can just hit play i personally have already played the halloween map on my alt account so i know exactly what to do so i'm going to hit play now, when you join the world, one of the first things that you want to do is click on this book right here. And this Halo tablet will show you all of the Halos that you can unlock. This one, Crafted Carnival Crown, you can only obtain after you get all of these other Halos. Once you get all of these other Halos, then this one will unlock and tell you what to do in order to obtain this Halo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Hollow Switch Crown, Hawaii Candy Crown, Graveyard Flower Crown, Melting Wax Crown, and Pumpkin Halo. So the first crown we're going to try to get is going to be the Hollow Switch Crown because during the process, you get a flying broomstick and it just makes everything so much easier. So we're going to start quest. And now you'll see that the active tasks have changed that we have to find a broomstick. In order to find a broomstick, you want to exit from where you spawned. You're going to go past this um, candy bucket tent and you're going to open the gate. If it's already open, just go past it. And around this circle, there is Dark Horse Chariot that goes around. So we're going to see if we can catch up to one of the chariots. Oh, yeah, it's right there. So you're going to actually go up to this chariot. It is the easiest if you walk up to it and you sit and you're on the carriage and you jump to kind of stand up and you go over to the broom and you take the broom. Now I have the broom in my hand. So step one is done. Now the next step is find and enter the secret mansion. The secret mansion is kind of tucked away. So once you exit from the center, which is the spawn, you'll go straight and you'll see that there is this graveyard. You're going to even go past the graveyard and do you see that little witch right there who is sitting on the broomstick? Yes, she is going to be someone very important. We're going to come back and talk to her to enchant our broom. But we're going to go past the graveyard and once you meet the end of the fence, you're going to go all the way to the left and you'll see that there is a little bit of break in the fence. Here is the cornfield. When you get to the cornfield, zoom out a little bit and look around and you'll see that way up there, you'll see a scarecrow. You want to go towards the scarecrow and once you go towards the scarecrow, you'll see that there are little holes in the wall. You're going to go through the holes. And when you do, you'll see this hidden mansion in the back, all the way in the back of the map. And you're going to go into now the hidden mansion. Let's go in. Find a tool to break into the basement with. The tool is actually a crowbar and it's in the mansion. We're going to go straight. And once you actually see this um, blockage, we are going to take a left. Then you're going to take a right. And behind one of these boxes, you'll see that there is a crowbar. We're going to take the crowbar. Yep. And then we are going to break these wooden planks. All right, break it down. Then we are going to go down the basement. It's a little scary, but don't you worry. Nothing scary is going to jump out at you. So we're going to go down the basement and we're going to go straight until you see this pile of boxes and right underneath the pile of boxes you'll see that there's a hole and when you jump down the hole there is a potion now if you actually look at the description of the hint you'll see that it says there are going to be fake broomsticks and fake potions around so if you do take this route then everything is going to be so much faster but if you want to do everything yourself you might have to go up to a whole bunch of fake brooms and fake potions. Now that we have both our broomstick and potion, what we're going to do is we're going to go talk to the broomstick lady and go through this fence and then talk to this lady. You found the potion. Thank you so much, darling. Here is the broomstick. I don't I think that's what she said. I didn't get to finish reading it, but here 
see how it's glowing? Nope, you did not get your halo just yet. But now we have a flying broomstick. You don't see it in the inventory, but when you hit double jump, you'll now see that you have the broomstick and you're able to fly around this world. So there is a little bit of glitch because this is a new event that sometimes the tasks do not check off. But do not worry, I will tell you if this happens, I will tell you exactly what to do. You're still going to fly and you're going to now go towards the mansion again. And you'll see that on top of the mansion there is the circular window. You're going to go through the circular window. And when you're in here, you'll see this really cool room. And up here on the couch is a small witch doctor. You're going to talk to the witch doctor. Ah! How on earth did you find your way here? I enchanted my broomstick, of course. Aha! That means you're one of us now, darling. You're a witch! Yay! <laughs> yes, indeed. As a part of your initiation, have a witch halo for you to keep. Oh, thank you! <laughs> have fun! Now scram before I turn you into a potion. Ha 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 ha! All right, and there it is. There is our witch's hollow or hollow's witch. I don't remember. There is the halo. Yay! It is so, so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So once you obtain the halo, you can now go into your wardrobe. And if you go to accessories, crowns, you'll now see that you have your new halo right here. Hollow's witch crown. The next quest we're going to do is going to be graveyard flower crown. So let's select this one. Alright, for this one, you have to find all of these flowers. And to actually explain the locations a little better, I'm going to reset my character so that I can explain the locations better for you guys. Alright, so now that I'm back at the spawn of the Witching Hour map, what we're going to do is we're going to look for these five flowers. The first flower is actually at the spawn. You'll see that there are trees around the spawn and one of the trees underneath one of the trees you'll see that there is a glowing light and this one is the red flower so grab the flower all right so we have the red flower and we are going to take this flower to the graveyard so once again go past the candy bucket and go to the graveyard and you'll see that some of the gravestones actually have some writing on it and you want to see and find the gravestone that has red writing right here joseph redmond so we're going to place the flower. There we go. So you'll now see that we found the red flower and the red flower has been placed at the right gravestone. Next flower, which is the white flower, is actually at the graveyard. If you find the graveyard and the tombstone that is dedicated to Squidward, you'll see that there is a white flower. So we're going to grab this one and we're going to find again the white tombstone right here. Walter White, place the flower. So now we have to find green, black, and blue. So for the black flower, you have to go to the cornfield, which is in the back of the graveyard. So you're going to go here, and when you actually cross this fence, you want to go slightly to the right. And eventually, you'll find an opening. Keep going. Oh my goodness, the rain is going to make it a little hard, huh? So you're going to, yep, right here. Do you see there is the black flower right here in the opening. So we're going to take the black flower. And again, we're going to find the black tombstone. All right, here it is. Murphy black. We're going to place the flower right here. Now we are left with blue flower and green flower. So for the blue flower, you want to catch up to the carriage, the dark horse chariot or dark horse carriage, however you want to say it. And you want to go up to one of the horses. The horse with the blue mane is actually holding the flower in its mouth. Do you see it? I think it's so cool how they actually placed this flower. So we're going to grab the blue flower. Now we can go place this flower in the graveyard. All right, here it is. Lucy Bluesy. Place the flower. The last one we need to do is John Green. So for the green flower, we actually need to go up to one of the trick-or-treating houses. I believe it's one of the houses to the right. So once you actually exit from the um, spawn point, take a right and you're going to go two, three, four, five. This is the fifth house to your right once you exit from the spawn point. And you'll see that between the bushes, there is a flower hidden right there. That's the green flower. We're going to grab the green flower. And you probably know what to do by now. You need to go to the graveyard again and place this flower to the green tombstone. 
Okay, so we're now here. We just need to place this flower and we're going to get our flower crown. All right, place it down. Oh. <laughs> there it is. There is our second halo. Oh my gosh, guys. So when you go to the wardrobe, again, go to the accessories and go to crowns and make sure you obtain the halo. I have it right here. Graveyard flower crown. So that is awesome. Now the next one is called melting wax crown. And this one is a little tricky because you actually need to get three people. So three people including yourself. So you need to get two other people to do it with you. So we're going to start the quest. And I'm going to go see if I can ask for Ryan's help. Okay, so for the melting wax crown, you have to find the secret mansion, which we already know where that is. So we're going to go to the secret mansion right here. Not now that to we mansion. have a broomstick, <laughs> not to mansion. Not um, to mansion. With the broomstick, it's so much easier. Yeah, way easier <laughs> with the broomstick. Yep. So once you get to the mansion, you're going to take, I believe, left. Yep. And you're going to take another left. Then you're going to take this ladder all the way up to this semi-second floor where you can find a box of match. Oh, I already you're had going a match. To, you already... Oh, from the last time, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So now we have to find the dark candle, which is on the other side of the first floor. And the three of us need to light up a candle each. So How do I light it? You just help hold it up. There we go! Oh my gosh! Did you get it? it? You got yep, it? Yep, 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 hey, thank you! Thank you so much! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, if we go to the wardrobe again and go check out the accessories, you'll now see that we now have our melting wax crown right here, which is super duper awesome. The next one we're going to do is going to be the pumpkin halo. And this one is a little tricky because it is all luck based. What you have to do is you need to go to the pumpkin patch. Oh, the gate is not open, so I'm gonna have to open it. So you have to go to the pumpkin patch and grab a pumpkin and carve it until you find the pumpkin halo hidden inside the pumpkin. This is all random. So you might get it the first try. You might get it from your, I don't know, fifth pumpkin or 500 pumpkin. See, this one didn't have the halo in here. So I just have to keep on going until I actually get it. I'm actually going to count how many pumpkins I had to carve in order to find one. Like I said, this is all luck-based. So here's my second one. Oh! Guys! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I got it! I got it! Oh my gosh! I got it! I got it! Oh my gosh! Okay. So this is my 87th... 87th pumpkin that I carved. <gasps> Yay! I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to probably sit here over well over a hundred. It's probably gonna get into hundreds, but I got so lucky. 87! Yay! Okay, so if I go to my accessories, crowns. Oh, it's right here. Pumpkin Halo. I know, like I said, there is a bit of glitches because this event is so new. This one did not check off and it does not show up as complete. But one way to make sure that you have completed them is by getting the halos making sure you have the halos in your wardrobe so now that we have our pumpkin halo now we can move on to our kawaii candy crown which is going to be just you know just as grindy we have to collect three thousand pieces of candy once i complete this quest i'm only going to be left with the lantern and the final one which is the crafted carnival crown these two crowns will have to have a video dedicated to them just because of the location information and all those kind of stuff. But let's get grinding and going trick-or-treating to collect 3,000 candies. So you have to talk to this lady at the tent. And as you guys can see, I already talked to her and I already have my cat candy bucket. So I'm going to actually go around and start collecting all of my candies. So you can go trick-or-treating to the houses around the map and you get anywhere from 1 to 10 candies from each visit you make. So I'm actually going to spare you guys the trouble and I'm going to actually use the edit magic and skip to when I am close to getting 3,000 candies. Alright guys, we are super duper 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 close. We are currently at 2,993. So let's see if we can get our last seven candies from here. If not, we'll have to go... Oh, oh, nine pieces! Awesome! Oh my gosh! There it is! <gasps> Yay! My candy crown! Yay! Thank you! <laughs> 
so now if I go to my wardrobe and go to accessories again, you'll see that it is now in my inventory right here, the kawaii candy crown. So those are five of the crown halos you can obtain from this event. Like I said before, this lantern crown it takes a little bit more work and scavenger hunting, so it will actually have a dedicated video. And also this one, the last final crown, which is the crafted carnival crown, is going to also have a dedicated video for itself. Also, I just wanted to quickly remind you that just because you get the candy crown, um, it doesn't mean that you get taken away 3,000 candies. So keep on trick-or-treating for more candies because if you actually go to shop, you'll now see that there are some items that you can purchase with your candies. Which, by the way, this lady candy corn, 10,000 candies, so worth it, so cute. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. I'll be back with other Halo videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!